There was a moment in my life, Willie, where I dated white women. The very last one I dated. Her problem with white people was this. White men had a lack of confidence when they spoke to the women. The white man had no lips. She loved my lips. She said, oh, your lips are so beautiful. I was beautiful. She touched my skin. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The attraction was the skin. The full lips. Them big ass. <laughs> she liked the lips. My wife's like a big ass nose. Big flat nose. Yeah, big nose. Cute little ears. The white girl, white woman, she wasn't a girl. Shit, the white girls, when I went out with them, I had a six pack body. Um, their uh, curiosity was the movement of the hips during a certain um, thing that, that happens every now and then between people. Um, they complain, most of the white women are saying, whenever they complain about white people or white men, it was always the facial features. They didn't like the way the white guy's mouth was made. They didn't like the way the white guy's hands were. It's like his hands were rough. They said his skin was funny. I ain't never touched a white man's skin. Not a man, touched a white woman. I don't know if the skin is different. I touch my skin touch my wife's skin, my wife's skin is softer than mine. I don't know. Um, there was basically complaints like that. The white women complained that the white men, you know, like a, a black man is confident. Even when a black man know he can't do shit, well, I have no chance in hell of getting this job. I don't know what the fuck they make here, how to make it, how to sell it. And what do you know about my company? Your company is a great company. I've been reading on it, and there's a lot of products that you make that have a chance in the world that can be very helpful to everybody. Well, what do you like the best? It's the fact that, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, well, um, ooh, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Ah, a little stiff right there. What were you saying? Oh, no, let's go see the plant. Next thing you know, man, you walk around the plant, and you learn how to do the job on the job. I have been in situations where I've seen those people talk their way into some bullshit and just walk away. Black people are not allowed to do that and that's pretty sad. But, you know, like I said, the white girl said the white man was not confident and he had no lips and he was rough. She said the black guy was smooth and soft and she loved his lips and liked touching him. Black women, on the other hand, are very beautiful. What I perceive as black beauty is this, not skinny. She can be from high yellow to jet black. Um, she can have a little, little meat on her face. She can have some meat up in here. She can have some meat in the back. She don't have to be big. She don't have to be small. She has to be able to smile and be happy. Now, if you can be happy in your face instead of walking like, like this. You've you seen that black woman smile video. See all the pictures of black women? Black woman mug harder than black men. You be trying to look at a woman like, and she looks cute. She be, got that disturbed look on her face like... Motherfucker looking at me. I mean, some black women come off angry. Not from... Yeah, from the fucking start. Come to think of it, they come off mad. But I would never turn in... Put like this. If we could take our women to like a dealership, I'd never just walk my woman in and... You know, babe, it's about time I go ahead and get another whitey tighty, A whitey tighty 2000. It'll never happen. It's because it's not the features of the person that you find attractive. It's the person's actions and shit. It's how it's how that, that young white lady acts. You can 
hook up with a white woman right now, Sergeant, and she can be around Monique and uh, Quita and be blacker than Monique and Quita. That's one thing I've learned about white people is when a white person is black, the levels of blackness can only be rivaled by a crazy nigga. I'm serious. When you got a white person born and raised black, it all depends on what part of the blackness they was in. I know some black guys are cool. Sit there and play dominoes. Ha <laughs> ha! Talk, look, at, look at. When you talk to them after about two minutes, they don't look white. But I know some white girls who are black. Worse than any black woman that you have thought was ignified. I have seen them. I've even dated one of these motherfuckers. And I mean, a white, a, a real white black woman, a ghetto white black woman, that's worse than a, a black black woman. Because a black girl can be hardcore, ignorant, and stupid. A white black girl is a bad motherfucker. I mean, bad, bad bad try to compete with the niggas because the black girls really can't compete with her I'm serious you get a hood white bitch and a black chick black chick might be able to whoop her ass but when it comes down to competing you saw hustle and flow out of all the motherfuckers in the house doing their thing which one put it down for DJ hmm Need I say more? You get your hood white chick. These black chicks won't act like that. I'm telling you. You do that. You go get you a hood white chick. The black girls will change up, buddy. They see a hood black a hood black chick will change up in front of a hood white chick. And hood white chick be like, damn, why she acting like that? She don't act like that any other time. Are we around a new brother? And that's why she doing that. I think I'm bullshitting. I don't even know if I helped you out on this. But black people can't reject the cartoon because our definition of beauty has been programmed in us. That skinny ass bitch, that skinny this and that skinny that. Black women are getting skinny. White girls are getting thick. Look at it. You can see for yourself, buddy. It's changing again. I already mentioned that in the video, in this video, and I don't know. But it's changing. It is. I mentioned that in a video before this. Check the video I did before this. I mentioned the same shit I'm just talking about. It's changing. You look how thick black women were back in the day, and you look how thick white girls are. Look how thin black girls are getting, and look how thin white girls used to be. Look how thick these Asian girls are getting, and look how thin Asian girls used to be. And you don't tell me things are changing. The people are changing. I saw somewhere on TV that um, a black woman was saying that we perceive black women to be always be heavy set or um, you know corn rolls or braids. I never perceived all black women to be heavy set. And this woman was saying that black women should go get gastro bypass surgery so they can look like they want to look and I don't want to look like my grandmother and blah, 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 and yakety, yakety, yakety. That was either on Oprah or Tyra, I forget, probably Oprah. But um, it's bad because we in the black community are talking about ourselves. I don't talk about black people that much unless I'm talking on one of your videos or something else. So I talk about all people. As far as this little patty you got shown on this picture, that's about the ugliest white woman that you could find to put up there. You should have found one that looked good. As far as skinny black women go, I've never really had it for skinny black women, but I've been with a few. I don't like the way these skinny black women are looking nowadays. <laughs> Two thumbs down, stick a nose up in the air. Trust me, these skinny black women do not look healthy. Um, but you don't have to be no big old fat ass Buddha either. Um, hey, I don't know. The woman you find is the woman you get. The woman that loves you is the one you'll end up with in the end. And until then, you've been tubed.